Hello, my friends. I hope you're having a lovely March 14th, 2019. And today, we are checking out uh, Devil Engine. We'll just go with the settings again. Sure. Uh, again, you're watching me play this for the first time. Use the directional buttons or the left analog stick to move. Got it. I'm a professional. <laughs> X to change speed. Oh my god. Old B to fire. The old shot screen. Oh. <laughs> I should have been paying closer attention. There we go. Press A to use a bomb. Whoa. Okay. I like that laser. Press A to use it. Yeah, I did it. There you go. When I play these games, I'm like, I don't care about combos. I just want to stay alive. You know, obviously, if you're going for high score after you've beaten the game a whole bunch of times, then you want a combo. Yes, but... Um, give you something to do. But first time through, I'm like, please just let me live. <laughs> there are a lot of sides. Of... There's a lot going on here in the tutorial for me to read <laughs> what it's trying to tell my perseverance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Okay, ooh. Okay, good enough. Right, I'm good. Let's go. Uh-oh, we've got a stuck sound effect. Oh, there it goes, never mind. All right, so. I won't be, shoot. Why burst? What's going on here? Press plus. Uh, I almost played Rico again, because I really liked that. I really did like it for as... <laughs> Uh, simple as it was, it was a ton of fun, but I was like, no, we're going to play Devil Engine, because I am also in the mood for a shooter, or a shmup, I guess I should say. Shooters are different nowadays. Uh, I come from a time before the first-person shooter, <laughs> so yes, this is a shmup. Oh, <laughs> this was a terrible idea to play and talk, <laughs> but, oh boy. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. This is very hard. <laughs> this is very hard to focus on and talk. This might be a video no one ever sees. Let's... Alright, let, let's focus here. Let's focus on both. So, I was in the mood for a shmup. I want to stick with laser. Um, And I had been eyeing this one up for a while, because I love the look of it. It really feels like it was ripped straight out of the arcades. Maybe I should go with spread. Um, back in the day. It just has that look and that feeling and that vibe. And I don't, I don't know. I just love visuals like this. I don't know what to call them. Like if I was, you know, I feel like, ooh, I feel like this is, um, you know, the 16-bit era when you were playing your Genesis or your Super Nintendo. We're going to be in some real trouble here soon. But uh, this was like what stuff in the arcade looked like. And you were like, wow, look at how much better it looks. This is amazing. Um, it's just got that arcade vibe to it. And that is what I wanted to talk about while I'm playing this game. There is a certain... I guess the... Ah, oh, I meant to stick with spread. There's obviously a ton of games that aim to look like retro games because, I don't know. Oh, damn it. Um... Developers just like that look, or they they feel their skill set um, better suits it. I didn't mean to. I saw that one coming, <laughs> or whatever the reason. You know, I'm sure some developers are like, let's just do sprites. Those are easy to do, but it's not easy to do, to animate sprites and make them look good. And you know, there's it, there's an art to it. <laughs> God damn it. I am on full display. Uh, my lack of skills at shooters is on full display, or shmups is on full display here. But making it look good and uh, giving it that f f uh, appearance is one thing. But nailing the actual vibe of those games, that's a completely different experience. And I don't feel, for all the games that are out there that take a retro approach to visuals, I don't feel like there are a lot of games that... Nail that vibe. Well, I didn't know it was going to do that. Continues remaining. One. Things are going great. Um, I, like, just from playing this a little bit, I really do feel like it nails that vibe of the, that, oh boy, that type of game. Just 
it's more than looking like games looked during that era. It sounds like it. It plays like it. It has that certain something that you can't really... I, I mean, I struggled to put it in terms. Oh, boy. But it's just got that feeling. It feels like a game that was literally ripped out of that era rather than just looking like a game that did. And uh, there's a... Let me think. Uh, I was talking about it earlier today. Bloodstain, Circle of the Moon. That game really feels like it was taken from the NES era. Uh, just the des the design... The overall... Every oh, yeah. The overall everything about it. It just feels... Ooh, right. Um, and that's, I guess, something a lot of developers don't try to do, or a lot of develop <laughs> a lot of developers don't think they can do, or don't even uh, uh, try and do it when they're developing a game. Um, and it's hard to know what makes that special sauce. It's hard to know what you put into a game to like make it feel like it really was part of that era, because uh, Bloodstained Circle of the Moon. I don't want... Is, is there like a normal? <laughs> why can't oh, I... Why don't you challenge yourself? I really... I hate when a game wants me to go easy on myself. I, I don't want to do that. Um, I lost my track of thought. With Bloodstained, um, it, 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 I, it does new things. Like It does things that I feel I haven't really seen in platformers, or at least... Uh, exploited in platformers. It feels new and fresh, but it does feel like, you know, I went to, for me, it would have been like Toys R Us or Babbage's and picked up a game and it was like a new NES game back then. Um, I don't know how they achieved that, but it's it's something I can tell. Ooh, baby. As soon as I start playing a game, it just... I get a feeling that, I guess maybe it's something that just, you have to have been, damn it, part of that era. You need to have, you know, been around and grown up with those games to really understand what uh, makes them feel, what makes them get that vibe, even if I can't put it into words. But, um, it just feels good. It feels, uh, it, I don't know, I, uh, familiar, but not, but unfamiliar. I, I, I don't know. And I know games like, uh, Bloodstained are certainly doing things that the NES couldn't have done, uh, or, you know, perhaps may have been able to barely do, but would have involved a lot of slowdown. Um, but just the way it feels, the way it plays, it just feels right for that era. And I, I really appreciate that. I'm trying to think of other games that have that feeling, but like I said, it's very few and far between, but this does feel like that type of game. Um, and the sound design here, I think, has uh, has a lot to do with it, actually, because there's a certain... Oh, this is very hard to put into terms, too. <laughs> there's a certain feeling to the audio. It's, uh, it's that... Oh, this section gets me every time. It's that... Um, it's like crystal clear audio it's almost like when developers were first able to start doing audio more than just like chip tunes and they were taking advantage of like cd level audio and uh they're like oh man we can make some really epic stuff with this and the, the tunes just sound <sighs> clear is the only word i can think of uh, pure maybe is a better way because obviously Lots of games nowadays have very high quality audio and they sound clear, obviously, but maybe it's pure. It's got that like <sighs> reverb, reverb or echo to it too. Something about it that just, I don't know. It, it It's you know, it's like how Neo Geo games sound. How about if I put it that way? If you play, if you have played Neo Geo games or, uh, uh, you know, in the arcade or on the Switch or wherever, I would like to go by. Um, it's got that kind of sound to it. Just a, a new feeling. It, it, it instantly transports me back to that era. Maybe that's what it is. Like, that type of sound is crucial to nailing the vibe of retro-style games rather than just the visuals or just the audio. All of it mixed together is important, but that sound is definitely an important design. Um, and this game has that. I, like I said, uh, when I record videos, f <laughs> when I record videos for you guys, I play with one uh, earbud in. 
Oh, baby. I'm getting there. I'm doing much better than last time. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has that feeling. And it, it's, uh, like I said, it transports you back to that time. Um, and I think the stuff like that might be the I, might be the reason why some people aren't <sighs> some people aren't into retro games because they might just look the part. Let's do some of that. Boy, this is a disaster. And they don't like. Whoa! You know, I got enough to deal with the bullets, and now I gotta. This guy's gotta smack his feet on the ground. I need all these right now. <laughs> One continue remaining. Here we go. Oh my god. I just like to. No! Yeah, I'm looking at the goddamn thing in the middle. And then all these green things. Oh my god, I would love to beat this. Oh my god, I said it and it came true. <laughs> I completely lost focus of what I was talking about in every other way. No, no, don't touch me, garbage. I did it. I, did. <laughs> I feel so happy. <laughs> you know what else makes this feel like a rank E? That's terrible rank. You know what else makes me feel like this is game of the era? It's ridiculously challenging, although I did pick that. So maybe I should have went easy, but no, damn it. I can take a challenge. I appreciate it. You learn, you play, you adapt, you get better. But uh, I am not going to continue this hell. <laughs> uh, my goal was to talk a little bit about the vibe of retro games and uh, what the difference between looking and sounding like it and actually capturing that feel. Because I feel like Devil Engine captures it, and that's very important. Oh, game over. Perfect timing. Uh, <laughs> any other games that you have played recently on Switch or any other platform that you feel do more than just look or sound like old school games that capture that vibe, which I guess will be hard for some people to pick out because you didn't play a lot of those games, you weren't growing up with them, but I'm sure some of you can do it, and I'm sure some of you get what I'm talking about. Leave a comment. Whoops, sorry about that. Leave a comment and let me know. Also, very quickly, if you want to see me play some more Rico, let me know in the comments too because I am very uh, much considering returning to that. But that's it for this video, which I'm sure is more hectic, uh, hectic and scatterbrained than usual, but you learn every day. Now I know playing shmups while talking is very difficult, especially if you put them on hard. Um, so I'll take that into account for next video. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful uh, night, morning, day, whatever it is when you're watching, and I will catch you in the next video.